Hi, it's Christian. Hope you're well. I just wanted to share with you a, a quick tip that I've learnt this afternoon that's going to be quite a game changer for me and hopefully it will help you guys out as well. Um, all credit for this goes to Mike Moore, who's part of the Loop community. His profile is down below or a link to his profile, so please check it out. Um, and what this basically does, it just simplifies our workflow using a program called Automator. So what Automator does is it allows you to, as the name suggests, automate certain tasks uh, that you may be finding yourself doing regularly on your computer. Things like um, taking a whole load of photographs, resizing them, moving them somewhere else, renaming them. Um, Automator can do all of that for you. And what Mike Moore's cleverly done is he set up a list of commands within Automator to open up everything that he needs for his loop setup and to shut everything that he doesn't need. So Mike very kindly shared the settings with me. Um, he's made them available to you as well via the loop down, uh, the link down below. And all I've done is change a few of those settings. So when I arrive in a venue or a church setup, one of the first things I have to do um, is close everything that I don't need on my computer um, and close some of the things that I don't want to get in the way, things like um, Dropbox, things like Skype, things like... Um, uh, things like my diary, etc. Uh, and then I turn on a thing called Caffeine. Caffeine's a little program that lives on my toolbar that will stop my computer going to sleep. Then I open up my Ableton. Once Ableton's opened, I launch my Ableton template. I open up Bones. I launch my Bones presets, um, which is for my MIDI conversion. Uh, I then open up my chord book, which sits on my second display of my laptop or on my laptop screen. Um, and what this does um, is basically does it all for you. So let me show you how it works. Um, these lists have been saved into two applications. So we've got Loops Live and Restore Loop. I use a program called Alfred, so I can literally double tap my command key, type in Loops, and there's Loops Live. Hit Enter, and you can see across the toolbar, it's instantly starting to shut down all the applications I don't need. It's opened my, st my stage called Books. It's opening Ableton Live 9. It's opened Bones in the background. It's turned Caffeine on. And the last thing it's going to do is change the view on Ableton and then make my stage chord book active. So now if I trigger off a loop, so let's trigger off, uh, for example, we are the free loop. As soon as I press that on my foot controller. We are the free. Intro. One, the two, three, to go. four. The loop's ready to go and the chord book is changed to the right page. If I press a different loop, let it be known. there we go, um, let it be known comes off on the chord book or finally let's New just trigger off New Day, you can see exactly the same happen again. Four. Brilliant, so let me just press stop. Then I can do exactly the reverse when I'm finished. So I can double tap my Alfred, I can type in restore um, or I can go up to my applications folder and click my app restore uh, and it's going to ask me if I want to save my changes to live 9 I don't because I've not made any changes so click don't save and then it's going to close down all the apps that I don't need and as well as closing down the apps that I don't need you can see at the top it's starting to open up the ones which I usually have as well and um, preview will shut in a moment so let me show you how that's working let me open up automator itself and I will show you, this is my Loops Live, which is my edited version of Mike's. And it's a series, like I said, a series of commands and a series of run scripts, which most of them are defaults in here or um, presets in here. So the first one is I've left uh, Mike's as it was to tell Caffeine to turn on. Um, then I've told it to quit all applications apart from Ableton Live. So this will shut anything that's living in this toolbar down here or in the dock down here. Then certain applications that live across the top, things like Fantastical, Evernote, Codebook, Dropbox, I want them all to definitely shut. Um, then I'm going to tell it to find certain items. So it's going to find my Ableton session. It's going to find my Bones presets. And it's going to find my stage core book. And then it's going to open all of those with the default application for all of them, um, so which will obviously be Ableton, Bones, and the pre Apple's preview. Then there's three more run scripts. Uh, the first one is to change one of the view settings in live. Um, the next one is to, again, change a second view in live. So one of them is to drop the bottom panel. One of them is to make it full screen. And then the third one is to make um, preview the active screen. So it's the screen on front ready to accept those Bones mini conversions. And that's it. You save it as an application in your applications folder. You launch it and you're ready to go. So um, 
Mike's made these available. You can go and download them from the link in this blog. So I hope that's helpful for you and I hope it saves some precious moments and what can be a stressful time on a Sunday morning or any other time when you're using your Ableton rig. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.